having a, a, a sense of fun about you. You know, you, you don't look uptight. You don't look like you've got something stuck up your butt. And I mean that in a, in a figurative sense, not a literal sense. You know, you, you look like you're someone who really enjoys life, enjoys who you are. All right. But not so, not so caught up in who you are and the people around you that you're not, you don't have time to observe the environment you're in, you know? And one of the biggest reasons why girls, for example, may be in your situation where, you know, they're asking this question, what makes you more approachable is a lot of times they may not really take a look at their environment and the people around them. They may be so consumed with the friends that they're with that they don't, they don't take note of people around them. And, and a guy may be out there trying to figure out, you know, should I make a move, should I make a move? But yet you're not really taking notice of what's going on around you. You don't even necessarily have to have eye contact with him. But him just seeing that you're kind of looking around the room and observing where you're at will be enough for him, for some guys to go, oh, okay, you know, she's not totally consumed with the people she's with. All right. So you might fall into that trap as well. All right. Also, you have to understand that if you want to make yourself more approachable in a dating sense, you also have to give up the um, give off the vibe of you are someone that they'll be interested enough for them to want to 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 date okay so you know you, you if you get yourself involved for example in in different activities you know if you get yourself involved maybe in a charitable cause or get yourself involved in a athletic cause or in a hobby whatever hobby it is maybe you like books you know you get yourself involved with that it makes you more interesting you know so when you're in that environment guys will notice that so let's say you're in that environment and you're being observant of what's going on around you you're not just consumed with the people around you then they're gonna go wow okay she enjoys books or she enjoys sports or she enjoys this charitable event you're at and she's looking around and she's aware of her situation aware of her environment I'm moving in. That makes you more approachable as well. Another thing you also have to be cognizant of is you may be the type that you may be the type that may feel like you give out good signals, but a lot of times to guys you may not really be giving out solid signals. Like if you feel like you look at guys and you smile, if you're that kind that thinks that, well, I look at guys and you know if I like them, I'll smile at them or whatever, but they still don't approach. A lot of times guys may not do that because you may look at them and smile, but you do it in a way that makes them go, is she doing that to every other guy around here or just me? So they don't feel like it's personalized, okay? They don't feel like it is. And one of the reasons why they don't feel like it's personalized is because you may do that and then take away the look and you don't bring it back you know, or you don't bring it back for a long period of time, and they may be sitting there waiting, waiting for you to bring it back, and you haven't brought it back yet, and then maybe you eventually decide to bring it back like 10 minutes later. By that time, he's already thought, okay, that was a total fluke. She just looked at me for whatever reason, you know, and maybe she's looking at other guys here too, you know. So don't wait too long between intervals. You know, if you do that look and smile and he doesn't approach, make sure you don't wait too long before you look again, you know. Because if you wait too long, and it could be even as, as, as long or short as five minutes, you might go, well, she didn't look back, so whatever. All right? So it could be that too.